Hello, and welcome to page 17 of volume 2 of my graphic novel of comic strips titled Bound Earth. That gets longer and longer every day. Um, <laughs> running out of breath. I need to get back into shape. They're running. Um, yeah, so that's what I wanted to talk about, uh, at least until I get into the page. Um, weighed myself at the doctor's yesterday, and they weighed me in at 200 pounds. That's the most I've ever worn weighed in my entire life, and I thought something was off, and so I went home and weighed myself, and it's about right with all the clothes on. I am deeply concerned about my weight now. Uh, I'm going to have to go back and try to get into better shape and try to do some jogging and lifting weights and lose this belly because I have a predisposition to go diabetic if I get too big. And I grew up and I watched my dad get really, really large before he got smaller. And by then it was too late and he, he had the, the medical issues. So, uh, we are going to do my best to try to get back into shape, or at least healthy. Uh, the weight doesn't concern me, the belly does, and the unhealthiness of it all. So, jogging and weightlifting, I think, at this point. Uh, I'll start with stretching and uh, maybe some kind of yoga kind of thing. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Uh, I'm going to have to set up a regiment and get to it and spend a, uh, at least a half an hour every day doing something aerobic so that um, I can be back in shape and not be so concerned about the, the weight issue. Uh, that is quite possibly, and I see this with the older ones, uh, artists. Uh, get so wrapped up in what they're doing with their art and the computer and writing and uh, all the things related to the stationary part of their, their jobs and, and their hobbies and not and losing focus on um, taking care of themselves. Uh, I tend to <laughs> I tend to drink a lot of pop. I think I'm gonna have to cut some of that back. Um, not sure how I'm going to do that because I work third shift and sometimes the pop is the only thing that keeps me awake. So I may need to find new ways of doing that. Period of adjustment, moment of realization. You have them, you adjust to move on. So that's where I'm at now in my own life. And it's also something to maybe keep in mind for the future for yourself as well. I'm well aware that I'm speaking not only to the people that are listening now, but the people that are listening uh, 10 years from now, or 20, or 50, or however long YouTube or the internet lasts. Uh, in the digital age, you're speaking to the future. So this page uh, starts off just like uh, every other page. and did all the, uh, the framework for the panels and uh, layouts on a separate sheet of paper on the thumbnail. And then layouts with uh, the carpenter pencil and uh, carry it into a mechanical pencil and then ink it. So the process remains the same. The process is always the same. It's, a, it's almost routine, the process. But the subject matter of the panel, uh, I started to uh, get into what goes on inside the cave as well. And we have the leader robot uh, observing and helping out with the chores on the inside of the cave with the, the cave woman, uh, the wife, uh, Eve, whom I never named, by the way, in the story, but it's, it's assumed, at least by me, that this is Adam and Eve and Cain and Abel, uh, just because of, of the type of story we're following. So we're inside the cave, and, and the leader robot has been delegated to doing the dishes, which 
that seems like an awful large pile of dishes for a family with two toddlers and two adults, but, you know, dishes add up after a while. I looked around my kitchen and realized that we have way too many dishes for the number of people that we have, especially for the number of visitors that we have, <clears throat> zero. And so, yeah, large pile of dishes, and he's washing them in, in a sink, I don't know. A sink and a cave. Uh, that in itself is kind of silly, but it's absurd. It's all about absurdity. And so we have this large thing of bubbles, which means they've discovered soap. Again, more absurdity. But in the foreground, underneath the notice of everybody of the robots and the, the cave people and the, you know all that, there's there are these bugs uh, undergoing a dramatic governmental change. Uh, they're protesting dictators and they're marching for freedom and and it it's all very very political. Uh, I believe I wrote this and drew this probably around the time when the elections were happening with. Um, uh, 2016, so you have uh, Trump and Hillary and Bernie Sanders and, and all those people. Uh, so, this, uh, they're marching, they've just overthrown the dictator, and they're marching and they're celebrating freedom, and one of the, one of the bugs decides that he should be in charge in the middle of the march, in the middle of the parade, and attacks another one, and it shocks the, the third, and uh, it turns into Star Wars Episode 3. Uh, took inspiration from that, where, you know, the very people that thought that they were helping to improve the government uh, turn around and become the exact same thing that they helped destroy. Uh, or maybe even worse. So, it's all very Anakin Skywalker and Star Wars Episode 3. You end up with, uh, with an Obi-Wan fighting back, I guess. Straight stole the plot. Straight stole the idea. It was completely, completely thought about, and it was, uh, uh all I can say is, Thanks, George. Uh, but I took it enough and I made it a parody of the uh, whole political system that we currently have and the way everybody seems to act now uh, politically that hopefully it counts as a parody and George Lucas doesn't sue me for the $20 I have in my back pocket. Because um, he'll never get it. I'll declare bankruptcy. Good, good job, George. Um, <laughs> Outside of that, uh, I, I don't really know what else to talk about. Um, be aware you don't become what you what you what you fought to remove. Take care of yourself. Drink water. Um, don't eat too close. Don't eat supper too close to bedtime. And uh, watch your weight and exercise. Make sure you're healthy. That's. Uh, that's all I've got, really. Uh, I have some new music in in the queue for the backgrounds here, and you know you'll see new clips here and there uh, if you listen to them. I uh, want to thank Joe for uh, sticking with me, and we're just plugging away. I'm trying to get this this second book done so that I can figure out how I want to start selling this stuff and and. You know, getting some income coming in for all this work. Thanks for watching. If you're watching this on YouTube, check out my Patreon at patreon.com slash Alan Dunlap. If you're watching this on Patreon and you want to check it out on YouTube, it's youtube.com slash dreamofart, the number one. I'm also on Instagram, Dunlap underscore Alan. You can check out stuff there. I usually post the pictures not scanned, but photos of the, pic of the pages after I finish them on the weekends. Thanks for watching. Have fun. Uh, take care of yourself, and I'll talk to you next week.